Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Investment Research Group, uh, looking at the investment markets ahead. Um, quite an interesting week last week because uh, if you read the, the news or um, looked at the uh, um, internet, uh, all you would have thought was negative news coming out. There was all stories about uh, further uh, unrest within the uh, financial system, um, a lot of talk about uh, Greek uh, defaults, etc. Um, but really, if you look at the actual performance of the share markets, uh, the Dow finished up around 5% over the week, and that dragged the rest of the uh, major indices higher as well. Um, so a little bit of conflicting uh, sort of stories going on um, in terms of negative news coming through, but not be really being reflective in the uh, in the prices of the uh, of the share indices. Now, also as well, um, a lot of the uh, certainly a lot of the major corporates in the U.S. I must say do have some exceedingly good balance sheets. Um, this was highlighted by uh, Dell last week announcing they had a further uh, share buyback. Um, so they're now going to buy back approximately uh, seven and a half billion dollars worth of shares. Now, to put that into context, uh, the largest uh, market capitalization in New Zealand is about 2.1 billion New Zealand, which is Fletcher Building. Um, and say Dell looking at buying back 7.6 billion US of shares. So that just goes to show, uh, say, the strength of some of these balance sheets in the US corporates, and possibly things that aren't quite as bad as uh, as we first thought out there. Uh, we have the Reserve Bank. Uh, no surprises there with rates being left unchanged, um, and still a little bit of talk about a possibility of a, uh, a further rate hike um, before we see uh, year end. But they've only got two more meetings, um, so we'll have to uh, sort of g up a little bit. And obviously, the uh, the current uh, nervousness out there in the markets is just uh, uh, letting them see a sort of wait and uh, um, wait and see policy. And but certainly, uh, make uh, make no doubts about it. Uh, next year, rates will be going up as long as uh, the market conditions allow. Um, in terms of nervousness, um, we will expect to see higher rates here in New Zealand. Yeah, we've still got the uh, Air New Zealand uh, domestic uh, bond. Um, that's the last week this week. That closes this Friday. Um, so if you do have any interest or any applications to get in, uh, do that as soon as possible. Um, it's a five-year bond, 6.9%. Um, the New Zealand government owns just over 72% of the company um, and probably looks a reasonable rate uh, for the next five years. Uh, that application is available on the uh, on the website. Um, also, disclosure statement available. I'm looking forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.